Daddy, it's a great day to go to the zoo. Oh, yes. I love the zoo almost as much as I love popcorn. <laughs> up, up, why do you have a crown on your head? Oh, I'm meeting royalty today. Do you think this crown's too fancy? But, up, up, we're only going to go see the lions and the tigers and the seals and... Oh, well, I'm going to meet the king. Maybe he'll invite me to his castle. <laughs> oh, I want everything to be perfect. Up, up, I think you've got it wrong. The king isn't royalty. Oh, how do you like this bow? Your majesty. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I've been practicing it for three weeks. I want everything to be just right. All right, up, up. Mm -hmm. When we go to the zoo, I think we better go straight to the lion area. Oh, you go to the lion area. I'm going straight to the king's castle. But up, up, you'll find the king with the lion. <laughs> what? Gee, he's weirder than I thought. No, up, up, the king is a lion. The lion is called the king of the beasts. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll see you later. Where are you going? I want to see if anybody wants to buy a slightly used crown. Oh, up, up. So, oh, Miss Molly, now you'd better get back to romper room. What? There's someone waiting there for you, and he looks like a pretty creepy oh. skeleton. Uh, you go over there, and I'll go to the zoo. <laughs> Oh, up, up, that's not a creepy skeleton. That's our friend Ken Schutz, the zookeeper. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today, Just Ken? I'm fine, thanks. What did you bring for our romper room friend? I brought several things. This is the first one. Maybe someone can tell me what I brought. Anybody know what I this is? The, uh, uh, well, I brought part of a buffalo. Which part? The head. The head. The head. There you go. The it's skeleton. That's right, Susie. It's a buffalo skeleton part, or the buffalo skull. And it's Why don't hard. You sit down a minute so the friends at home What's can this see that's good. What's this skull made out of? This hard substance here, this hard stuff. Bones. Yeah, it's bones. bones. Skeletons. Um, skulls good are made heavens. up of bones. Look carefully at it. What would you call this part here? Horn. 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 Oh, Does horn. your head bone have some of these things growing out of it? No. No. <laughs> the buffalo skull is special because it has the uh, horn bones under there. It also has some other parts I'd like you to look at right here. Ah. Yeah, that bone surrounded what? The eyes. Yeah, it went all the way around the eyes. Just as you have a bone that protects your eyes, this is the bone that protects the buffalo's eyes. Mm. What about on the other side, Ken? Whoa, I don't want to hit anybody in the face with this. What are those? Well, again, I'm going to ask somebody else. What do we see here in the buffalo teeth. skull? Teeth. Big teeth or little teeth? Big. They're big. pretty big teeth. These are the top teeth, and of course, there'd be a bottom part that met like that, and that's how the yeah. buffalo would chew. And you can see they have pretty sharp edges. Buffalo eats plants, leaves and grass and the like, and these teeth are designed or made specially so it would cut the, the plant material so it could swallow it without choking. Wow. Well, that's great, Ken. Did you bring us anything else? Yeah, I have one other thing. Here, let me put the buffalo head down. And I'll put this up here. I'm going to sit back just a bit so everybody can see. Yeah, why don't you sit down a second, Susie? That's good. We want all the friends at home to see. That's and again, right. I'll ask, what's this? Snake. Well, it's oh. part of a snake again. It's not the whole snake. Snake, snake bones and what's the big word when we got a bunch of bones together? Word. It's the snake's skin. Well, skeleton. good. It's the snake's skeleton. skeleton. Oh, you're all so quick, all my romper room friends. Look at it. How is it different from your skeleton? What bones does the, does the snake have that maybe your body doesn't? Or what snake. ones? Squiggly. Well, okay, he's got squiggly. This is his backbone. Starting here all the way around is his backbone. Whereas your backbone goes from here to here, up here. It goes down. from the top of your neck down to where you sit yeah. on your bottom. So ours is pretty short. And this is actually made up of 100 or 100 or so little bones. And then these little things here, what are they connected to the backbone? You have some too, not as many. But what are those bones that come around from your back to your front? Oh, are they the ribs? Very good. The ribs. Yeah, those are the snake ribs. Does the snake have any arm bones or leg bones? No. No? no. There's a good reason for that. Snake doesn't have the arms or legs. Oh, well, that's great. Thank you very sure. much, Ken. You know, it's, it's fun to look at animal bones, and sometimes if you go to a museum, you can see dinosaur bones. Sure. Well, Ken, you stay here with our romper room friends, and Love I'm to. going to go see if I can find Simon, because Simon told me that he went to a museum and he saw some dinosaurs, and I think he might want to draw one for us now. 
So let's see if we can see Simon and his dinosaur. Let's watch. the museum. He was fascinated by the prehistoric animals. When he came home, he went straight to his blackboard and grew a giant dinosaur. That afternoon in the park, Simon met one of the birds from the land of chalk drawings. Simon, come quick, there's trouble in the land of chalk drawings. Simon followed. And when he arrived in the land of chalk drawings, he gasped with surprise. The land was deserted. No Henry, no teacher, no people at all. Instead, there were broken trees, smashed hedges, and the railway track was all twisted. Then Simon discovered some giant footprints. They must belong to something enormous. And suddenly, he heard a terrifying roar, and there, charging towards him, was the dinosaur he'd drawn. Simon ran, but the dinosaur ran faster. It opened its great mouth, scooped Simon up, and swallowed him. Simon tumbled down into the dinosaur's stomach. He landed on something soft. Hey, mind out, I've heard of people dropping in, but this is ridiculous. Simon looked round. And who should he find but his friend Henry, the teacher, the engine driver, even the elephant? Henry was frightened. We've all been swallowed, Simon, and there's no escape. Simon disagreed. Oh, yes, there is. I've got an idea. If we all take deep breaths and blow, we'll make such a draft, the dinosaur will catch cold. You know what'll happen then? Well, the others didn't know, but Simon always had good ideas, so they all began to blow. That's... Gee, you know, Simon might like playing with old dinosaurs, but I like playing other games. You know, I really love the zoo. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you love the zoo, Up-Up. We all love the zoo. What are, what are your favorite animals? Well, you know... I like pheasants. You like what? The pheasants. The pheasants. They're oh. pretty, aren't they? Well, you know, I have a game about animals. Oh. It's a guessing game. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we now, play up up? Yeah, you sure can. Now, I want to see if all of you can guess the animals I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. Stay there, Jason. Good boy. Friends at home, you want to play too? Okay, now I'm going to give you clues about the different animals I'm thinking of. And as soon as you guess what the animal is, you tell us. Okay? Okay, we're Let's ready up. Start. Up. All right. Now, the first animal I'm thinking of lives in the jungle. He's A got. Tiger. No. No, he's got fur all over his body. Listen to the rest of the well, cues. And he, he's got arms and legs, and he eats bananas. And oh, a gorilla. A monkey. A monkey. A monkey. A monkey. He sounds like this, right? <laughs> huh? That's a monkey screaming. <laughs> that is. And he looks just like this. Oh, there he is, a monkey. Oh, there's a monkey. Yeah. They move fast in the trees, don't they, up up? Oh, they sure do. They're great climbers. Now, here's the second animal. Okay. This animal lives in the jungle, too. He's really a great big cat. He sleeps all day, comes out at night, and he's got a big hairy mane, and he sounds like this. Tiger. No. No. A big mane. Sounds big like that with a big He's a big hair cat. around his head. He's a big cat. No. A big cat. Oh, I heard a friend at home say a lion. A lion. Oh, that's right. A lion. A lion. See, here's the lion now. Oh, wow. Oh, there's the lion. Three lions. Two lady lions and a, a male lion. Do you have any more for us to guess up? I sure do. Oh, boy. Now, um, this animal lives in the woods and he has fur too and he likes to eat honey and he uh hmm 
No, he's, he's got he's fur had... all over his body. He's a okay. big animal. He likes to eat honey, and he sleeps all winter yeah. long. A bear. bear! Listen to the bear sound. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bears sound pretty ferocious, don't they? They do. <laughs> and let's take a look. At the bear. Oh, there oh, he is. Big black bear. Paddington's a bear. Isn't Paddington's it? a bear, too. That's yeah. right. Uh, Paddington's a little more friendly than that bear, though. Oh, that's true. Paddington is a very friendly bear. Mm -hmm. Now, here's one more animal. Okay. Now, this animal lives in the, in the jungle as well. He's a big cat, and he's got stripes all over the body. Lion. No, not no, a lion. No, we saw a lion. We saw a lion, but this is a big cat who's got stripes. A tiger! That's Let's listen right, to the tiger. Oh. Wow, that's scary. Oh, boy. Uh. <gasps> Let's take a look from a distance. Oh, tiger. Oh, that's what the tiger looks like. Oh, they're yeah. big animals, aren't they? Big boy, whiskers. Oh boy. Well, that's one of Granny's cousins? Uh, I don't know. I Could think be. so. Could mm -hmm. be. Well, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Oh. I thought that was so much fun. You're well, so clever. Anytime, Miss Molly. You know me. I'm just up, up the clever, up, up the thinker, up, up the wonderful, up, up the great, up, up the... Uh... Oh, bye-bye, up, up. I guess we'll have more fun with up, up later. But right now, we'll have lots of zoo fun when we come back. So don't go away. Robert and friends will return after these messages. We now return to Robert and friends. Hi, everybody. You know, Kimball was talking to me before, and he was telling me that he was afraid to go to the zoo because he was afraid of the zookeeper. Well, our friend Ken Schutz is a zookeeper, and he was really nice, wasn't he? I don't think Kimball should be afraid, do you? No. Well, I think that Kimball and Granny are talking about that right now. So why don't we go see if Granny can help Kimball with his problem? Okay, let's watch Kimball. Kimball, what are you doing with that lampshade? Looking like a lamp. Oh, really? Well, then, uh... You'd better stop shaking. Lamps don't shake. They do when they're afraid. Oh, what are you afraid of? The zookeeper. I'm afraid that he'll come and put me in the zoo. Now I understand. Oh, Granny, please tell him that I'm your lamp. If he thinks that, he won't take me to the zoo. Why don't you tell him? Lamps don't talk. Please, Granny, help me. Oh. Well, Kimball, to tell the truth, you don't look like a lamp. I don't? <gasps> Kimball, come back here. Wait, you don't have to do this. What are you now? A table. Oh. Put your lunch on me. Play cards on me, please. Oh, Kimball, I think we'd better have a talk. No. Oh, come back, Kimball. How do, how do I look? Well, uh, you've got me fooled. What are you now? A coat rack. Yes? No? Oh, Granny. Nothing works. <laughs> oh, Kimball. Why are you afraid of the zookeeper? Well, I, I'm afraid that when he sees a big furry animal like me, he's going to come and put me in a cage. Oh, Kimball. You're not a wild animal, and zoos aren't like that. They're not? No, zoos care about animals. They live in big, wide open spaces. Ooh, that sounds kind of nice. And animals get their food without having to hunt for it. Ooh. And lots of people come to see them, and they have lots of friends to play with. I think I'd like that. Oh, gee. Hmm. How do I look, Granny? Fine, but... What are you trying to be now? 
myself. <laughs> I figure if I look good enough for the zookeeper, he might let me join. <laughs> I think I'd enjoy the zoo. <laughs> Come on in, enjoy the zoo. I love it here, and you would too. They treat me nice, they treat me well. Take my advice, if you want a nice place to enjoy the zoo. The neighbor might be a hippo. I love it here, and you would too. I love my place, they keep it clean. It's my own place, if you'd like a nice place to enjoy the zoo. Well, I'm glad that Kimball decided he's going to go to the zoo. Aren't you, Holly? Mm -hmm. And you know, as a matter of fact, I think he's on his way right now. So let's watch. You want to watch Kimball going to the zoo? Mm -hmm. Shh. Don't make any noise. I'm here at the San Diego Zoo, and I don't want any zookeepers to see me. Have you seen any zookeepers? I just came here to see all the nice animals, the lions and the giraffes and the bears. But I'm afraid they're going to think I'm an animal and they'll put me in a cage too. I wanted to see them, but from outside of a cage, not inside one. I'm not sure what to do, but here goes my very first trip to the San Diego Zoo. <sighs> Hi, Kimball. Glad you could come to visit us today. Oh, nice to be here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm glad that Kimball decided to stay at the zoo. And that zookeeper seemed nice, too, didn't he? Well, you know, when we come back, Kimball is going to go see some monkeys at the zoo, so don't go away. Robert and friends will return after these messages. We now return to Robert and friends. Hi, Kimball here at the San Diego Zoo, just monkeying around with my monkey friends. <laughs> these are lemurs. They're called ring-tailed lemurs. I know. They look a little like raccoons, but they're really monkeys. That's right, they're monkeys. Wing-tailed lemurs live on the island of Madagascar. That's very far away. They live up in trees, and they eat fruit and uh, leaves. They especially like bananas. Sometimes they eat birds and small animals. But I guess I'm too big for them to eat. <laughs> Ring-tailed lemurs have nice, soft fur, just like I do. <laughs> uh, now, over there, we have colobus monkeys. Did you know that a colobus monkey has uh, a, a thumb on his foot? That's right, a thumb right on his foot. It's actually his big toe, and it acts just like a thumb does on your hand. A colobus monkey only has four fingers on his hand, just like one, two, three, four, just like me. <laughs> I like colobus monkeys. They're very nice and a little shy, like me. I don't see them very often. They live in the tropical rainforest in Africa. I don't get to go to Africa very much. Colobus monkeys will eat just about anything they can find. Not like me. I only eat certain things. 
I think I'll go back to romper room now. See you later, friends. Hi, everyone. You know, when we left Simon, he and all his friends were stuck inside the dinosaur. And I know that Simon wants to get out. It blew and so it got let's so find windy. him. But the dinosaur caught cold. <laughs> Because he had a cold. <laughs> he sneezed, and everyone inside the dinosaur shot out as though jet propelled. Simon glared at the dinosaur. You should be ashamed of yourself swallowing everyone like that. The dinosaur sniffed sorrowfully. I'm so big, you see. I have to eat all I can or I'll starve. Simon understood. And then he had another idea. Stay there. I'll be right back. At home, Simon took his chalk and round the outside of the dinosaur on his blackboard, he drew a giant egg and coloured it in. Then he rubbed most of it away until only a tiny egg was left. Then Simon hurried back to his chalk drawing friends. He found them gathered round a small egg where the giant dinosaur had been standing. Then the egg broke open. And out popped the dinosaur, much smaller than before. The dinosaur was delighted. Now I can reach the grass so I won't be hungry. And I shan't have to chase anyone and gobble them up. Oh, it's a much better arrangement. That's good. I'm glad that Simon once again came to the rescue, rescue and solved the problem. Well, I've had a good time at the zoo today, and it's time now to say goodbye. But I hope to see all your smiling faces in my magic mirror. Romper bomper, stomper boo, tell me, tell me, tell me do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Did all my friends have fun at play? They certainly did. There's Selena and David and there's Nikki and Tom and oh, there's Connie and Navita and Nathan and I see you. And Granny and Kimball and Paddington and Up Up and Doobie and I'll all see you again in Romper Room. Bye bye. Don't forget about the Sunday morning movie here on Channel 56.